here's our sailor. Captain Eric, what high seas adventure do you have planned for us today? It doesn't look like your adventure is going too well. Is our sailor having a hard time making his knots? Ah, you have a solution. Ooh, what are you going to show us? <laughs> nice trick. That's one problem solved. Well, I can tell you that you won't need magic to make your boat sail. Let's do an experiment. I'll show you a great way to make your boat move on the water without needing to blow on it. Ready? Come on, let's go. This experiment is really cool and very easy to do, so let's jump right into it. First, you'll need to cut a large rectangle from the middle of a margarine or yogurt lid. A rectangle, as you know, is a shape with four straight sides. Two of them are long and two are short. Great, now you have your boat. I know it doesn't look like it yet, but we'll get there. In order to figure out what part is the front of your boat or the bow, you will need to cut the top corner of one end to form a point. Yes, exactly like that. Good job. Next, we'll need a motor. If you want your boat to move forward, you'll need a motor at the boat's stern. That's another word for the back of the boat. First, using a hole punch, make a hole in the middle of the boat, but closer to the stern. That's perfect! Then, cut out a thin strip just under the hole. And now, your boat is ready! Okay, let's put your boat in the water. But before it can set sail, it needs fuel. So take the dish soap and pour just one single drop of soap in the small hole, which is our motor. Impressive, right? The boat moves because the soap breaks the surface tension of the water. The soap causes the water molecules to repel each other and push each other backwards into the boat, which helps it move forward. And if we make other boats, you can have even more fun and decorate them too! Have you ever noticed how a drop of water on a table forms a water globule? That's because of the surface tension of the water. Water molecules are naturally more attracted to each other, so they try to stay together. That's why some insects can walk on water. They're simply not heavy enough to break the surface tension. Now that you know all about the secret of water surface tension, you can make your own boats with some soapy fuel and impress your friends and family. Don't forget, it's not magic, it's science.